So hi Arjun, uh, I don't know if you know me, I teach at Vedantu, my name is Surabhi and I teach social studies uh, for class 9th and 10th and I'm very excited to take a toppers interview. So first of all, congratulations. Hey na? Thank you. In class 12, mein you've got 97.4%. That is uh, amazing. How do you feel? <laughs> yeah, I feel great actually. Okay, so uh, before we start, I mean, a lot of our students would like to know a little bit about you. Just say, where are you from? Uh, do you have siblings? Things like that. So, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, uh, I'm Arjun. I'm from Chennai. I have two siblings who are working right now. Acha, two elder siblings. Yeah. And are they also toppers or? <laughs> Not really. Oh, so you didn't have the toppers wala pressure. Ki nah. bhaiya didi did well, so I have to do well. Nah. No. Okay. So you are the you are the topper bacha in the family. In the family. And what do your parents do? Uh, my parents are government staff. My mom is working in high court. Oh, okay. My father is in insurance. Is a insurance company. Okay, so in the in both of them are working in the government. Okay. Yeah. And you are from Chennai. You live in Chennai right now. Yeah. I'm actually coming to Chennai next week. Oh. <laughs> yes, my dad is also retiring. He's also in railways, government service. So I'll be there. Okay, so uh, the first thing I want to ask is that what was your first reaction when you saw your marks? I didn't know how to react actually. I just started running around the house in happiness. <laughs> what about your family? So you and your family, everyone together saw your marks? No, I was the first one who saw them and, and then I called out my parents and said marks came. Oh, your parents were not like, let's look at it together. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got the news first and I checked immediately. Okay, so another thing is that uh, when you gave the exam, after all your exams, were you expecting these marks? Yeah, no, nine. I, I actually think I did a little worse than how much I actually got. <laughs> you got more than you thought you will get. Yeah. So your reaction was more like, oh my god, I got these many marks. Yeah. Great, great. So uh, in your board exams, like what I heard for class 12 is that the physics and maths paper were quite tough. So yeah. But, but did you find it tough? Yeah, was your, you know, did you find it easy? Uh, all I studied came, but the numericals were all, all tricky only, but uh, they were doable only. They were doable. Wow. Like topper bacha. Ha, it was doable. We I did it around say. But I did worse. I got I got marks essay. <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm just gonna keep looking at my questions. Okay. So uh for your boards you got 97%. What about your pre-boards? Pre-boards uh, my chemistry and physics were bad, only my math was good. Uh, so how much totally around 85% I got. So from 85 you got a jump to 97.5 almost. So what like what would you tell students who don't do that great in pre-boards? How can they make that jump to a good percentage? The uh, thing is usually t uh, the teachers who correct the pre-board papers, they correct it strictly so that uh, they gain confidence and uh, they they get the motivation to work better. Uh -huh. it, actually the board results will be much better than they expect. So pre-boards usually schools make tougher also. Yeah. So, that, uh, so you think that you did well in pre-boards, but pre-boards was tough. <laughs> that is why. Okay. So you, have you like since the start of class twelve, in all the exams, midterms and unit tests, were you doing well, or uh, only my mathematics and physics were consistent. My chemistry was really bad, so I, I was working on chemistry throughout the year, and in the end it paid off. Is it inorganic chemistry? Because that is usually what students find. Everything. I Chemistry is my weakest subject. Achha, it's your <laughs> weakest subject. So what did you do in chemistry? Like since it's, it's your weak subject, what do students do in their weak subject to improve? I did. I watched lectures and did some assignments. And what I did was I practiced uh, JE questions in the CBSC so that I prepare for the worst. Like even tough questions I can tackle. Okay. So uh, did you give more time to your weak subject? Yeah. In a day. So again, another question is that you were doing your school work, but you were also preparing for JE. Hmm. So how did you manage both school and JE? Did you prepare specially for both or no? I prepared specially for JE and since like CBSC is a subset of JE, like kind of because the syllabus is from JE. Hmm. So I prepared and like everything uh, is, uh, came from JE syllabus. In JE, it's like you don't have to focus on steps, but in board yeah. exams, you have to write all the steps. So did yeah. you practice that or was it easy for you? Yeah, writing the steps and all, uh, I learned it from my school teachers. They taught very well. Ah. The problem solving, I learned from the JE mentors. Okay, so you kind of combine both the yeah. studies. 
tell me a little bit about your day like how did you normally like going to school what did you do how did you manage your day uh, in school i actually love uh, love my teachers they teach very well huh? so i listen and uh, participate actively after coming home uh, i am not that productive i also go for classes like violin and uh, i study late in the night like okay. i stay up very late in the night which is a bad thing actually <laughs> but like oh, at by what time do you sleep uh, around 2 2 to 3 okay. am okay so uh, once you come back home do you always also do some kind of a hobby or wastage of time something like yeah, what do you yeah, do for leisure i actually play violin uh, oh, and i watch uh, tv shows in, uh, in my free time acha what kind of tv shows <laughs> like uh, thriller comedy main okay so to, to kind of unwind and relax yeah ha so how much time did you give for that that was like 2 to 3 hours 2 to 3 hours acha <laughs> <Right. laughs> and the rest of the time you studied yeah i said you studied so uh, and one question that students usually have for me is ma'am we try to study hai na but after half an hour they start getting distracted either youtube reels or instagram reels how did you focus like remove that distraction like uh, my brother taught me this rule like called the 25 pi rule like if you study for 25 minutes and then take a break for the next 5 minutes and keep doing that it will be really productive so like, i followed that but method and to stop your break at 5 minutes yeah i i learned that uh, control over time and what did you do in those 5 minute breaks i just uh, i will watch uh, instagram reels only oh. <laughs> Okay, but you were able to stop, so that's I think yeah. not easy, है ना? Like after five minutes, I just close the app. Uh, it like that take uh, having that control took a lot of time. हाँ, तो कहीं तो just to develop. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now, मतलब uh, you know you are a topper, right? So do you now think that there's something that toppers do differently that maybe normal students are not able to understand? कि and it's like one very small thing. that they probably do differently so i want to know what is it that you did uh, different i feel that is like uh, for me personally i actually lo- love studying actually physics and math are really uh, fascinating to study it's like uh, physics and all like uh, the modern physics and all like fant- like straight from fantasy they are like uh, uh. they are so good to be true like the dual nature of light and all like, yeah like uh, theoretical I really, physics yeah like big bang really, theory <laughs> that that is really cool acha okay <laughs> So you like studying, and that is why you think that you did. Yeah, and the problem solving is actually enjoyable. Like, like playing chess, for example, it is also a brain game. Huh. Like that only studying is also, I think. Acha, you so you made studying enjoyable for you, and that is how you were able to do it. Studying the theory is actually uh, not that uh, uh, entertaining, but huh. problem solving is. You like this more like solving a puzzle. Huh. So were you always a good student when like from six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or did you improve with time? Uh, till sixth standard, I was a normal student. Mm-hmm. Seventh, it became worse actually. Acha. From tenth standard, I started picking up, and it became better. What, what, you know, what was different in tenth? Was it the teachers, or did you suddenly feel that no, now I have to study? Uh, my, my teachers were actually really good uh, starting from tenth, and uh, uh-huh. that's and that's why I re- that's when I realized my mathematics is really good, and I started focusing on mathematics and start becoming better at it. and then science and all uh, automatically epic so teachers actually matter a lot in yeah they really that curiosity did you make notes yeah i make notes for all chapters also. so when did you do it like while uh, class in class notes or did you come back home and then take... because one uh, thing students ask is that we, when we make notes we waste a lot of time so when do you do your note making and how do you do it in class i do make notes uh, when they are teaching the running notes i do And after coming home, when I'm watching uh, lectures from Vedanta, I, I pause them, start writing, and then keep playing them. So, so though it takes time, it's worth it. It's worth it because then you can just look at your notes. You don't have to yeah. look at the book. Yeah. I don't have to go back to the lecture again. Ha. Huh. Okay. So you did watch Vedanta lectures. Great to hear. Yeah. <laughs> Great to hear. Okay. So what are the three tips you would give to your juniors? The um, one uh, one tip is to really be consistent throughout the year because if you are not, and then near the exam, the pressure will be too high, and there will be too much to cover. So if we are consistent, take take small steps every day, then it will be really easy in the end. And to not stay up in the night, actually, like uh, that was a really bad mistake I did, and I really really regret it now. Why not uh, sleep late? A lot of stoppers like, sleep late, and then they, you know. Actually, around seven to nine hours is uh, the ideal amount of time to sleep. I, I actually slept only for four to five hours every day, so it's really bad for our mental and physical health. Uh, in the long run, we realize. 
and third tip third tip uh, why do matlab more about the whole uh, question about is ncert enough for board exams do you agree uh, ncert for chemistry it's really good for mathematics we should be thorough with our ncert but we should also do extra stuff from outside for physics i don't really recommend ncert because it's, the language is too high for hmm. students to understand hmm. so we should uh, recommend ideally learn from our teachers the best ha so whatever the teachers teaching and then yeah. look at the that is more than did you use any uh, matlab question solving books matlab you were doing je and that is it or did you specially for board exams do pyqs also previous year yeah, I did. uh my school gave me assignments and the revision exams were also very helpful that gave me an idea of how the questions were so uh, you know, what i've noticed is when students do je preparation <laughs> hai na they skip school exams Say, yeah. Oh, that's not important. Do you agree that we should do that? If they are not really focused about CBSE and their main goal is JE, then they can go ahead and do it. But they, they also want to do CBSE really well, then they should not skip their exams. So you gave all your CBSE yeah. exams as well. How was your JE exam? JE went uh, well. I got ninety-seven point five six in that percentile. Wow. So now I'm preparing for my advance. Now okay. it's in two days. Oh my God. Oh, best of luck. I hope you do well. So uh, one question is that when, for example, I also took PCM. So class 11 was very difficult for me, but class 12 was easier. So uh, class 11, I almost failed. Then I studied very hard for class 12. Did you face the same problems in class 11? Yeah, class 11 went terrible for me. And then class class 12, I was really demotivated because I thought it will be as hard as class 11. But then it became easier. So what did you do for backlogs? Because when backlogs come. Your heart yeah. suddenly feels very heavy, right? You are like, how will I able to uh, cover it? So how did you cover it? That is that? actually the main reason why I start uh, sleeping late at night to cover all my backlogs. Uh-huh. I was eventually able to catch them. You catch were able them. to. So did you make a? Did you have everyday targets? No, I just uh, start studying what I felt like studying because uh, at what mood I had that day. Okay. So if you wanted to solve problems, you solve problems. Yeah. Theory, theory. Okay. Ha. Huh. What was the most difficult subject? Acha, you said chemistry. Chemistry is oh, also English. Since English is something that I know, all JE students, you know, just uh, don't want to do English. Did you yeah. study for your English? I studied the last two. Actually, didn't sleep for English the day before the exam. <laughs> so that is the only day you studied English, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got ninety uh, six. Yeah. That is not easy to get. I studied English, okay. I got ninety two. So I'm a little jealous for that. <laughs> Okay. ठीक okay. है. Uh, hobbies you told me that you did violin. So is that something you did when since you were a kid? Yeah, uh, ninth ninth grade. Uh, when I was nine years old. I think. What are your future plans? My future plan is to get a uh, get a good job and then in my free time I will do some violin concerts. Oh, wow. Uh, that's pretty much it. So IIT is your aim? IIT hopefully, or maybe I'll try for bits plan. Hmm. My brother is from Bits Pilani. You can always oh. uh, after the interview. Okay, so okay, so I'm gonna ask you uh, a few. I'll tell you a few statements, and you tell me if it is a myth or truth. Okay. okay. So the first is class 12 is easier than class 11. True. NCERT is enough for boards. That's it. Nothing else. Uh, kind of true, but if you want to do really well, then. Outside stuff is also important. Ninety-five percent, ninety-seven percent. You need to do more questions. Handwriting matters in board exams. Yeah, true. True. <laughs> computer. Acha, you took computer science as an optional. One statement yeah. that students make is, "Don't take computer science. It is time-consuming and difficult." It's a myth. It's a myth. Yeah. So you were able to uh, do CS as an optional. Yeah. Okay. If you have to do well in class eleven and twelve, you have to leave all your hobbies. No, that's a myth. That's a myth. Okay. Toppers must be read. Nothing else. <laughs> I don't understand that. What? Uh, okay. Toppers only study. That's it. Nothing else. Myth. 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 Okay. So, uh, if you get good marks in class twelve, life is good for you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. True. <laughs> life is good for you, right? It will be a very good start. You feel motivated to do better, Ajay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so these were my questions. So I hope, मतलब uh, I hope that your story motivates other students who are preparing for class ten and twelve. How much did you get in class ten, Vesit? Class ten, I got ninety seven percent. Exactly. The seven you got in class ten. How yeah. much you got in SST? Because I'm a SST teacher. Uh, SST ninety four. Ninety four. Where did your SST six marks can't go, ma? Huh? <laughs> yes, 
in 10th SST was my weakest subject. Your weakest subject? It's like chemistry, you know. Oh, okay. Because both of them are about memorizing things. Memorizing. Yeah, chemistry was my favorite subject when I was in 11th. Oh. <laughs> so I understand. Okay, so thank you for that. Uh, so three things that you've said, mainly, I think that students should focus on is consistency. Backlogs are mm-hmm. maybe like important to finish it off. Time management, you you are not very clear. Ki uh, matlab, you're just saying ki kar lo. Whatever you feel like, just keep studying, enjoy studying, enjoy problem solving. That things will just work out uh, in the better. Just work out. Acha, one more thing. Sorry for last the last question is eleventh uh, and twelfth is depressing for a lot of students, right? Mm-hmm. You start feeling depressed. You start feeling alone. Ki no one is understanding you. And I did you ever feel that way? My parents and siblings were actually very supportive, so I didn't really feel that way. Just yeah. went normally acha and if students do feel that way what is your advice for them just uh, keep studying hope for the best is like nothing serious even if, even if the worst comes it's not going to be that uh, harmful for a future exactly <laughs> okay just enjoy studying and it will be better in the end in the end ha it's about enjoying the study yeah Wow so I think you are an inspiration Arjun and I am very 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 uh, happy to have talked to you uh, especially since you are in Ch- from Chennai and I was born in Chennai uh, so I uh, you know that's why I was like I want to talk to Arjun <laughs> I want to take his interview so I hope you also had fun and thank you for giving us those advice